right, welcome and welcome back fellow Shopify entrepreneurs. We have a big update, a very key update that happened recently on my Shopify stores and your Shopify stores. And this is about the checkout. This is actually quite a big deal and a quite a big shift in Shopify's longest features and policies. And so we're gonna get into this, what this new update is, what you need to do and what this means for the future. So the other day I was on my Shopify store and I was browsing the settings and I came across this error message here. Go into our checkout settings and we see that it says your thank you and order status status pages must be replaced. So for the longest time on Shopify, the checkout page is a page that is completely non-editable or only Shopify Plus merchants for the longest time have the ability to upgrade, edit, change their checkout. Now we have our theme editor and it seems like every single page on your website can be edited and customized in some way, but then you go to your checkout and there's barely anything you can do with it. This is for a lot of reasons, you know, to keep the checkout secure and to make sure it works and we don't want people messing around with the checkout of financial transactions. But this update is a huge shift because I've been running Shopify stores for a long time, this has never even been in question. And now it's raising raising the possibility that maybe we will have the ability to edit our checkout. So it says that for non-plus Shopify plans, we now have the option in our checkout pages to customize and upgrade your thank you and your order status pages. So it says you can use Shopify checkout to accept orders and receive payments wherever you sell online with the checkout and accounts editor. Now you can customize your thank you and your order status pages in a way that's compatible with future upgrades and works with shop pay. So the thank you and the order status page are two pages that pop up after the checkout. So your customer goes through checkout and they confirm everything. And then once the order is placed, they give they get a thank you page and then they can get an order status page. So these two pages are the only pages and the only part of the checkout that we can customize now. But these two pages, the ability to customize these is the new feature and what the banner is talking about. Still don't have much ability on non plus plans to upgrade the actual checkout, which is fine. I rather my checkout work than customizing it and something break. But this is what this update is talking about. How exciting. It says if you don't have any existing customizations to your checkout, then your upgrade is completed automatically. It's possible that you have no checkout customizations or pixels or anything like that. You might not see a banner. And that's the distinguishing factor on when you will see it and when you will not see it. But it says if you have existing customizations to your checkout, such as additional scripts or apps, customize your thank you and order status page, then you need to manually recreate your customizations using compatible apps. Checkout and the accounts editor, then activate the pages to complete your upgrade. So there's a lot of steps here. It's a little overwhelming, but basically there's two main elements going on here. Okay, so like I said, we're dealing with the thank you and the order status page in our checkout. So these areas of the checkout are not very customizable for non plus members. There are certain things you can do to them. One of them is additional scripts and pixels. These are tidbits of code that you input into your store a lot of the time at checkout to track specific analytics for deeper analytical purposes. Then there are a few apps that can edit your your checkout a little. I kind of looked into this and saw and seen if this is necessary or, or wanted. And I've just always kind of looked at it and be like the changes that these apps can actually make and the amount of apps that are available are just so small that it, I've never really considered it a priority in my stores. But those are the two things that's mentioning here. Additional scripts, customizations and pixels, and actual customizations like color and logo and how it is presented with apps. So it's saying it looks like because of future upgrades, if you've edited your checkout and you've added additional pixels or scripts, or you've created customizations with apps, you'll need to recreate these because the updates are making these incompatible. So for these two pages, thank you in the order status page, there is a personalized report here to view your customizations, your conversions, or your order tracking, or your pixel pixels, and your additional scripts, and then you'd need to recreate these in a certain way in the checkout and the accounts editor. And second, if you've made any customizations to the checkout, to its look and its design and its feel, and you'll have to recreate those with customizations with different apps. And you can go to the Shopify app store and learn about the specific apps that can help you customize your checkout. And again, these are just for installed apps that customize your thank you and your order status page. So now on the thank you and order status page, like every Shopify store, you'll see a bunch of app blocks, app sections, sections and blocks to create these. And that's what the update is talking about. So the first step is to identify if you have this warning to identify what you need to reinstall, reinstate and recreate. It tells us how we can re-add pixels, custom pixels and migrate old tracking pixels. And it also says how we can recreate UI extensions and appearance and functionality of these two checkout pages. So it seems like most likely if you have that error message, you do maybe have one of these conditions enabled. And so that's what you'll just have to recreate in some way. But if you don't have any of those above steps, you can simply go to the banner in your settings in your checkout and you can click publish in the sidebar. This will republish 
your thank you and your order status page, and then the banner in the area will all go away. So that's what I learned from this update. And I hope this explanation sort of helps what I've been looking into, what I've been learning. Again, with the checkout, it can be a little stressful seeing that there might there's an issue with your checkout, but it's no big deal. What we're talking about here is reviewing if you have any customizations that looks like are now going to be deprecated because of future upgrades. And if you have those pixels or those customizations in your thank you and your order status pages, you can just recreate them and then you can publish your pages and then the banner will all go away. I hope this helps. I hope this gives a little bit of clarity. If it doesn't, you can pop a question down in the comments. I'll see what I can do. And if you didn't notice this, um, head over to your settings, to your checkout settings, and then there's a big blue banner there if if it is applicable to, applicable to you. But of course, remember, if you don't have any existing customizations in your checkout, then your upgrade is completed automatically without requiring any additional actions from you. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Hit the like button if this has helped so I know. And if you subscribe, I'll see you in the next video.